a hey, dynamic podcast where we can set a lot of issues concerning our lives, marital issues, single lifestyle, and of course, godly parenting, ethics, and 21st century parenting styles. I'm your host, Barista Mrs. Esther Enino Today, I have a question that I want to trash out that was said to me, and it said, how long does one need to be in a relationship before marriage? If the couples would make couples are really serious and they are keen on getting married, what I what I usually advise is between six months to one year. You don't have any business going in further than one year. Those people that are not prepared, that they don't really know what they are doing, that the ones that go into a relationship for one year, two years, three years, even to their same five years, seven years. And that's a taboo to marry. The bed of marriage must not be defined. Don't forget that. That's in the book of Hebrew, Hebrew 13 verse 4. So we have to be very careful. Those of us that already go cohabitating and living lovers, it's very wrong. When you're going to a relationship, at the beginning from the onset, you must know, it must be defined that you're going in for marriage. So I'm with that conviction and with that decision, you have to make your plans, your projections, because you're already prepared for marriage. From the beginning, you are saying, okay, we're going to get married. So you will start working towards it. Everything that you need to know, everything that you need to discuss, everything about your lifestyle, everything about home, upbringing, family, and all that, in-laws and all that need to be discussed. Everything. So my take is, don't go further than one year. And be very careful. Everything you do within that period must devoid of sex, must devoid of emotional attachment. Yes, there must be chemistry, fine, there should be chemistry. But make sure that you have prayed and you have done every form of spiritual assessment of the person's family and the person's lifestyle and do a lot of spiritual research, not just the physical only. You know, there's been a lot of apostolic operation when you're counseling couples, they only do this physical assessment of the family or the couples. They don't do the spiritual one. But the spiritual one is very key. It is highly imperative that we take our spirituality serious in terms of marriage. It's a spiritual thing. Marriage is a spiritual thing. It's not a physical thing. It is orchestrated by God as Satan has injured on it to use it to break homes, create chaos, um, um, bitterness, um, you know, all sorts of negative things goes on in the marriage. That is not God's way for marriage. Marriage is meant to be enjoyed. Marriage is to bring in the glory of God. The communion of God needs to be there. The presence of God needs to be there for it to try for that communionship. In the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 3, that is why God created man. Genesis 3, 18, God came down and found that God, the Adam and Eve have seen they have bridged that communion that relationship that God created for us so by all means try as much as possible not to extend that relationship further than that because every other thing will start coming in I'm yourself I'm yourself with the word of the Lord I'm yourself with guiding your emotions do not defile the bed of marriage before that time there's what I call Wed before bed, as in W E D versus or before B E D. Wed before bed, as in let the marriage take place with the blessings of God, with the glory of God in it, before the romance, before sex, and every other thing. Once you have the liking to that person, the chemistry is already there. By all means, you will still enjoy the sex. Don't get fooled along. Don't get carried away with all these myths that is going on. That if you don't have sex before marriage, you might not be sweet. As you test all those abortive stories, evil narratives that come from the bottomless pit of hell. So by all means, flee away from it. So with these short things, I'm sure you are already armed with what to do before marriage. So let us also get armed with this as parents. Teach this to your children. I'm of the school of thought that we pray for marriage. We as parents, we need to start mentoring these children from an early stage. 
that is where they will have a deep understanding about marriage. They will internalize some of these good actions, characters, behavior, lifestyle that can help them build a luxurious, glorious, and a wonderful home with the blessings of God. So thank you all of you that have been liking, sharing, commenting on this podcast. I'd like to hear more from you. Be good and keep being prayerful. God bless you. Bye.